ever since we moved here, we found that Loma attracts a lot of people um, on the first uh, Friday of the month, and uh, lots of wonderful artists um, come out and um, you know expose their art, and uh, we love it. Um, we get a wide variety of artists that come through, from like stuff you see behind me to like photography, to even like video type, movie type things. Um, I think the curator Milton Downing does a great job with. Um, you know, booking the shows, and sometimes I book the entertainment, if you can hear in the background. We try to, like, provide something different, provide a little spice, if you will, in the art loop. I think it's a great chance to sort of bring your family out and meet other people, people from different backgrounds, give them a chance to see the city, especially if the weather's nice out, it's easy to sort of come out and just enjoy the, the riverfront, walk on the riverfront and play for a little bit, and then come up and enjoy some of the, the little parks on the sides of Market Street. It's phenomenal. Like, it's absolutely phenomenal. I think last Art Loop, which would have been April, easily 200 people came through our store um, with no exaggeration. Um, when the weather's beautiful, um, people come out. They know that this is a destination for Art Loop, this entire block. And it, ex it gives our store an exposure to people that might not otherwise think about us. I've been to Art Loops for about three years now. I like them because I meet a lot of interesting people like Ella here and I get to see a lot of interesting artwork, and I've actually known a lot of the artists on display and had a lot of opportunities to display myself that I haven't taken yet, but I might. <laughs> and it's nice to know that those opportunities are out there. The Wilmington art scene is really growing tremendously, and it's based on a really great job done by Jenny Barton and the crew at the Cultural Affairs. They've been very innovative and in trying to come up with new and creative ways to get the community more involved and have more events that are uh, not geared towards one person, but to geared to all the different tastes and art as well as uh, music. You're going to see music, you're going to see um, visual art, you're going to see jewelry, um, you're going to see um, fabric art like clothing. Um, so there's something for everybody. Uh, the work that I have here is all encaustic work. Um, it's, a, um, it's a wax medium with um, Damar resin and, and pigments and it's just something that I did during my senior BFA show and I continue doing it until today. Like my style is a little different, like most people uh, say. They, they, when you see in the picture, you really can't get a feel for what it, how it really is. Um, it's 3D, so a lot of stuff is uh, raised up off of it. I like people, you know, to kind of, and with this, be able to touch and, you know, look, get up on it and touch it and kind of give them a shock, so it's a little different. These are a combination of trying to discover the symmetry of the female form and integrate it by contrasting the form with uh, the abstract background similar to the style of Mark Rothko except I wanted to put a little bit more energy into it like the energy reflecting from the colors in the body and the colors in the abstract uh, background to the fuse and assemblage of elements together. Everybody has something going on. Everybody has something different going on. Loma Cafe, uh, our landlord's office, uh, Gordon, um, us, uh, Saika, everybody has something going on. Matilda's around the corner, yeah. Definitely come out.